We'll guide you through how to download and install the Create mod in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, go and close off Minecraft. And then what you need to do is open up your web browser. Now, just before we get any further, a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. They might go to Minecraft server host and they've got so many awesome features. For example, one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support. So you can get help anytime you need it ultra latency and so much more. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So come and check them out and you can go and get your own server, you can play off mods. If you're interested, there'll be a link in the pinned comment and the description and you can get right here. A big thanks to Apex for sponsoring this video. But anyways, back to the guide. First of all, you want to go and search for create mod curse forge, just like so. And I just like to go and use curse forge for mods. I just find it a pretty safe place. And then all you want to do is scroll down. You can read some info about it, but to go and download it, go and click on files. You're going to see quite a lot of different files here. The main difference between them all is going to be the game version. So personally, I like to go and get the most up-to-date game version. So for me, this is for 1.20.1 at the moment. Um, you may want to get an older version if you're playing with other mods though. But yeah, you're also going to notice the upload date varies as well because they do update. So yeah, anyways, what the main thing to note is, is that the mod loader is for Forge and also the game version. So mine's 1.20.1. Now come over to the right and click on the three dots and click on download file. And the download should shortly go and start just like so. Then all you want to do is come back to the search. And now you want to go and search Minecraft Forge like so and come to the Forge site. Now, if you remember, we got the 1.20.1 version. So come over to the left, select 1.20.1, and we can then go and get the installer, like so. Now you're gonna be taken to an ad wall, so just be aware. If you see a download button here, this is for the ad, not for forge. You need to go and click on the skip button in the top right. It will take a moment to load, and it will th then go and download, and you can then come out of your web browser. And you then want to go and open up your file explorer, come to downloads, and here is the create mod and forge. Now drag them onto your desktop, just like so. And what you need to do is you need to go and run forge. So go and double click on it. You should then go and get the forge installer. If it doesn't go and open up, maybe something else happens or maybe nothing happens. This is likely because you don't have Java installed. So come, come back to your web browser and go to java.com. All you need to do is download Java and go and install it. Then come back to Forge and right click on it and click on open with. And you can then go and choose Java. You may need to click on choose another app and then you can run it. And it should then go and open up. If it doesn't, you may need to do something called jar fix. And that basically links Java and jar files and that will fix your problem. We've got a full video on that, which you can check out. So select install client and go and run it. It shouldn't take too long. Once it's finished, it will go and say it was successfully installed. Now go and open up the Minecraft launcher. So I'll go and do that now. Select Minecraft Java on the left and go to the top and select installations. Now scroll down and go and locate Forge. Here it is and hover over it. And you need to go and click on the folder icon like so, and it will then go and open up your file explorer. Now go and scroll down and go and locate the mods folder just here and double click on it. Now I've got another mod in here for a different version of Minecraft, so I'm just gonna go and delete that. If you start mixing mods from different versions of Minecraft, it can cause crashes. So then all you need to do is go and drag in your mod like so, and then you can come back to Minecraft. Click on play and go to the left of the play button and you want to go and select forge like so and click play. You need to understand the risks as you're playing with a modified version of Minecraft. Now go and wait. It's now loaded. If we click on mods, you'll go and see create there. So now let's go and get into a world. We've now gone and loaded in and the create mod has so many awesome features. Just to show you one though, you can actually go and start using trains. So I'll just type in train and as you can see here's train track and we could then go and start making a track. So yeah, there's so many different things you can do with it and you can go and check it out. If you guys found this useful and you want to go and see more guides just like this, then please consider subscribing.